what's up raw babes and today i'm giving you very much raw we're just gonna jump right into it this is a very highly requested video this is the blue glitter glam and i cannot wait to show you so the first step is i love using the noxzema wipes to avoid any breakouts for the clients or even your own skin you want to make sure you cleanse your face before you use any products just so you won't cause any breakouts to your skin we do not want to mess up that beautiful face honey and uh, one of the things that you guys have commented under my story or even on my post when I asked you guys, what is something you really learned from my page that helped you a lot? A lot of people said the dual lash glue, dual lash glue. So this right here is my buddy. I love this dual lash glue. I used it as a gel for my brows. This is to lay down my brow hairs to keep them firm and also for long lasting brows. If you guys use the dual lash glue, this will have your eyebrows on for three days. I'm telling you, it's a very good way i use my technique for my brows and you guys should try it We'll also make sure all the products are down below in the description box. The pencil I am using for her eyebrows to fill in is the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. And I love this. This is in the shade Dark Brunette. Now, after lightly filling in her brows, you'll begin to get ready to conceal those brows. I like to use my two favorite concealers what I use for the brows, which is L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer and also CoverGirl. These are very full coverage concealers for the lids. It goes a long way and you guys need more of a matte concealer to conceal those lids because it dries down way faster than using a very hydrating concealer. So I recommend these both. I will be going in with the Infallible Wear Concealer from L'Oreal in the shade 400 Caramel. And I'll also be going in with the CoverGirl Concealer in the shade Cappuccino. So the reason I go in with two different shades is because when you are using one darker shade, you should use it for the top of your brows. This is just to avoid any halo eyebrow. You want it to look more natural and defined. You don't want it to look more as too noticeable to the point that it looks more like a clown or a drag eyebrow. So you want to keep it very natural.
So I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, let's shade girl, that's a lot of concealer. The reason why I use a full coverage concealer for the lids because you have to get ready for those colors to pop. You have to get ready for those glitters to pop. So I make sure when I'm doing a glitter glam or more exotic glams, I go in with a good coverage of concealer for those lids just to be a base and to prep. If you are doing soft glams or naked beads or natural beads, you do not have to use this amount of concealer. Like I said before, this is only for when you are using a lot of glitters, a lot of products on the eyes, a lot of colors, just to make sure those all pop. When you are concealing the top of the brows, ladies, I want you to keep going down until it's closer to the eyebrow hairs. This is to avoid any big brow. And also, before you move on, just stand in front of your client and see which eyebrow is even enough. See which one looks like sisters. You want to make sure you correct everything when it comes to the brows before you move on to the next step. Now, I will be setting my lid, setting that concealer in with some Airspun Translucent Powder. This is very good to avoid any creasing when it comes to the lids. I want you guys to get this. You can get it from Walgreens. Um, you can get it from Amazon. Walmart this is very good for using to set those lids So the first transition shade, ladies, you can go in with any brown you have in any one of your palettes. If you're already a raw babe, you already know my favorite palette is the Julius Place palette, the Warrior palette. And I went with those two browns just to tone it down a little bit more. And I placed that into her crease. If you guys see this often, the reason why makeup artists go in with eyeshadow a little bit closer to their nose is to get ready to be a prep for the nose contour. For instance, it just brings the outline for you to remember where your nose contour will be placed. So you guys can also try that. So I went in with the Morphe X Lisa Frank 35B palette. This is from Morphe. And I love the, the packaging, the colors. It was so cute, it reminded me of my childhood. So I had to, you know, get my hands on it. And you guys been telling me to try different things. So y'all, I'm trying my best. So I placed that blue onto her lid. You guys can get any type of blue. I'm not saying you have to get this palette. If you have the James Charles palette, if you have a Julie's Place palette, this will be any type of blue you want to put down but it has to be more of like a dark cool blue Thank you. 
I'm going to add a little bit more pop to my blue. So I grabbed the Morphe X James Charles palette. If you guys know, you already know. I love this palette so much. It's an oldie that I will always have in the corner. So I mixed in different dark blues in that palette just to make that blue right there pop. And it did make it pop so much. So I'm showing you guys how to get prepared to not have to always do a cut crease. You don't have to always do a cut crease to have a glitter eye. You don't have to always do a cut crease to have a real bow eye. I'm showing you guys how you will kill a glitter glam without even touching a cut crease. So let's get started. First, you'll be going in with any type of glue you want to put on the lids, but I like to preferably use dual lash glue, and I put it right in the center of her lids. And now you'll be ready to use your glitter. So the glitter I'll be going in with is from Amazon. This is the Chunky Glitter. It comes in varieties of colors. So I want you guys to go purchase it. I will make sure that I put it in the description box below. Make sure I put that link there. And you could just get any type of synthetic brush, any type of flat brush, synthetic, and you will make sure that you put that glitter right on top of that glue. And as you can see, sometimes it'll dry up. So you'll just be adding more glue just to build on your glitter. So this is the trick. As you guys saw, I formed a cut crease, but with the dual lash glue. So you can do motions of a rainbow. You can still do motions of you doing a cut crease, but instead using a more easier way. You're going in with dual lash glue. And then I pressed in a pigment that is the exact same shade as that dark blue, which is a soft glitter pigment. This is from Eye Candy Cosmetics. You can get it from Morphe. I have different varieties of colors. They're so raw, go make sure you purchase it now. So when you are having a chunky glitter, it's very pretty to pop on a pressed glitter, which is the same color as that chunky glitter, just to make those little pigments shine through. So as you guys know, I had to make sure I pop on some more blue to that eye, some more blue shadow, because along the way it was dusting off a little bit more than I expected. And I feel like that was the first shade of the blue that we used with the new palette I tried. It was a little bit washed away type of shadow. So just make sure when you are seeing a little bit emptiness when it comes to the eyes, pop on that blue. With your glitters, you want to keep building up until the point that you see all the layers covered up with that color and that glitter. You don't want no empty spots where it's showing the skin or showing the shadow underneath that glitter. If you are original, babe, you already know these are one of my favorite lashes. This is the I Envy Luxury 3D Meek Lashes. You can get it from your nearby beauty supply store. I remember when I first started telling you guys that, hey, I love these lashes. Girl, they was running out all the way. And every single beauty supply store did not have them because you guys was running to get them all. But they're back, and I'll make sure I stack up as much as I can. But yes, go get those lashes. They're like $6 at your local beauty supply store. So the glue that I also used to apply her lashes, I put that glue on her a lash line and that was the dual lash glue. Here goes one of my favorite foundations, ladies. <laughs> Yes, 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 ladies, I already know. They discontinued one of my favorite, favorite foundations. I went in with the shade Truffle, and I also primed her with some primer from Milk Grip Primer. 
So, if you guys already know, I'm just so worked up about this. They discontinued the 24 hour super stay, Maybelline. I will continue to say that in every single live, every single video. Because I'm so mad. I love the coverage of this, ladies. I love it so much. I made sure I took off her um, cape. So you guys can see the color matching to make sure that you match their chest because her face is normally darker than the rest of her body um because some people the sun will hit your face more than anything because you have on clothes and you honestly want your whole body to look as one y'all so i've been holding on to these few of my 24 hour super stay maybelline foundations as i can i've been holding on when they run out i just literally cry but to substitute the 24 hour maybelline now i go in with nars i love nars longwear foundation so that's probably a foundation that's similar to the maybelline to me Going in with one of my favorite concealers. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Walnut. It was a little bit too much on the golden, so I had to darken it up a little bit with that deep shade from Tarte Shape Concealer. And then I went in with a damp Real Technique Beauty Blender, and I began to blend that concealer in. will begin to set that concealer so when your client is looking up as you can see her under eyes is very smooth that's how you want her under eye to look before you bake so make sure you always have to check and go back to the under eye and blend out all those creases before you begin to bake and that will help with having a smooth under eye and also make sure you grab your real technique beauty blender and it also has to be damped as well that will also help with the smooth under eye if you guys are noticing that you see a little bit more creasing and like i said before always have your client look up So after setting her face with that Laura Mercier in the shade Honey, now I'll be going in with one of my favorites, Sasha Buttercup, and I'll be setting the remaining of her face. This is just to help more of a full coverage. I also set all the wetness of that foundation on her neck and also underneath her chin. And I'll be going in with one of my favorite contour palettes. Yes, ladies, we did not use cream contour today. You do not have to always use cream contour. You can always use a bronzer or a powder contour.
of the contour palette as you can see bronzer palette i went in with today is the 8d morphe bronzer palette and i love it so much it's very good for dark skins it has a beautiful blush we'll be using the blush also today so this is like a bronzer if you guys want to go in with bronzers and contour palettes for a more softer look you can so her face is more on the soft side today um usually you guys see me always use cream contour like i said before you don't have to always use it it's very optional so i wanted more of like a soft look so you guys can see how it will look if you just use a powder contour guys need any help with knowing where to place your contour your bronzer or your blush you can always have your client smile that will also help you and now i'll be going in with the sasha buttercup to set the size of her nose bridge to help with that nose and also i'll be setting underneath her cheekbone up with the structure of her features and you'll also be setting from the ear point all the way to the edge of her lip Usually I smoke her eyes out with a black and a blue, but I want to go more on the subtle side. So I just placed that transition shade, which is the brown that we first used for her eyes. And then I also went in and smoked it out with a little bit more of that black.
sure you always have a little bit of baking powder underneath those eyes to help with the fallout. And now I will dust away that fallout very quick so the eyeshadow will not smudge underneath her eye. We do not want that to happen because her under eye is so smooth and clean right now. So I went with the real technique just to wipe that away. This is you guys' favorite pie. I went in with the Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Trendsetter. And I also popped on the NYX Butter uh, Matte Gloss. It's like a nude right in the center. And I popped it on with a mint flavored gloss from Broadway, aka the hair store. Ladies, like I said, I love using hair store gloss and these cheap combos for the lips. It comes out so pretty. You guys do not have to go spend an arm and a leg for a gloss i tell you guys that all the time so just make sure you go check out your nearest hair store to purchase those 3d lashes and also that gloss I'll be going in with the Mac Studio Fix Press Powders. I'm going in with the NW45 and also the NW55. NW45 is like similar to the shade of her concealer. This is to bring a highlight and smooth base underneath her eye. And also I use the NW55, which is similar to her original skin tone, just to blend out the edges of things. It's a blend out everything to make it look as one. So if you guys try the technique when you're setting underneath your bronzer, and sometimes you may still see the line of that baking, you have to always make sure you blend as much as you can with that pressed powder so that line can go away. You do not want that line to be a little bit too much noticeable. Um, so please try to be careful and go back and blend it out.
just got into the setting spray and I will be using the Lasting Fix. This is from Maybelline. This is a setting spray you can get from Ulta. And I'm finna just spray all that, have all those powders and foundation and all that melt in and her face look is so smooth and beautiful. I loved it so, so much. So now I'll be popping on a highlighter onto her um, eyebrow bone. This is to just make the eyes pop a little bit more. I'll be placing that highlighter on the bridge of her nose, her forehead, her chin, and also her cheeks. This highlighter is from the blush palette from Julia's Place. Popped on some mascara, and y'all, this is the finishing look, my babes. I miss you guys so, so, so much. Like I said, this was a very highly requested YouTube tutorial, so I had to come out with another bang. But I want you guys to show some love. If you guys want to recreate this inspiring look, make sure you tag me on all platforms, Instagram. I'm now on TikTok, so y'all go check that out on all platforms, Lachey's Glams. I love you guys so much and I'm so happy that I'm seeing more of the motivating and inspiring messages that you guys are sending out to me. I see everything. I love you guys so, so, so much. If I helped you in any way, if you learned something from my YouTube page, this whole entire process, this whole entire year of knowing me, make sure you comment down below. What did you learn from Lachey and how did it help your business? How did it help your life? I want you guys to keep going. If you know you can do it, sit in front of this video, learn, push it out. Out, get you some models try on your own face you got it boo i love you guys so much make sure you subscribe comment so ladies make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to look at a new video whenever it is posted make sure you subscribe comment below also go follow me on instagram at lachey's glams ladies thank you for watching bye Mwah.